Hi, today I'm going to talk about this Nixie Tube calculator kit. I started out many years ago building uh, other people's Nixie Tube kits and then eventually started to design my own. I've designed and built clocks, um, thermometers, web counters, Geiger counters, various Decatron projects, lots of different things, but what I've noticed really lacking was a good uh, calculator kit. So I decided I would put together my own. The uh, sort of traditional big desktop calculator's been gone a long time, but it seemed like this was a perfect opportunity to do something with some Nixie Tube. So what we here have here is the uh, Nixie Tube calculator. This is the prototype model, about the second prototype, and a prototype case. It's all assembled and uh, ready for use. It's your uh, traditional calculator. It does the usual things. It has an on-off button. Um, you know, we can add things. We can divide things. We actually have the uh, decimal points in the Nixie tubes wired up, so you have decimals. Uh, you know, I put a bunch of trigonometric keys over here, so we think, have things like pi. You know, and we can square pi. We can take the square root of pi. We can cube pi. Um, you know, we can convert to an integer. It's got memory, and it's also got you know a clock button because when you're not calculating, maybe you'd like to be able to use it as a Nixie tube clock. So let's talk about the design a little bit. I wanted this to be both uh, hackable and modular. So you can, you can program the thing yourself and you can disassemble it and build different stuff from it. So it's comprised of many small circuit boards. You can see three individual circuit boards used for the keypads. There's a 4x4 keypad, another 4x4, and a 4x2. about that size and there'll be a header interconnect that goes between the two of them. The Nixie tube drivers are also modular. I built them in uh, four tube modules. They just uh, plug together and mounted from the back side. And then finally there's also a power supply board. This supplies both the 5 volt via switching power supply designed for efficiency and the high voltage used to run the tubes and there is our Raspberry Pi. So the advantage of modularity I hope is obvious. Each you can, If you want to build a smaller calculator you could do away with the keypad. If you want to build a bigger calculator you could uh, order more keypads from me and, and make it bigger. You could uh, you know, conceivably build something with more Nixie tubes, or you could build something with less Nixie tubes. Now on the hackability side, we've gone with the Raspberry Pi. It's it located right there, the Raspberry Pi. It's an inexpensive, very easy to uh, program computer has an Ethernet jack right there. This is a uh, B model. The case is actually designed to fit a uh, B plus model as well and I recommend going with the newer one. But you can see here's the Ethernet jack so you can plug it in, you can SSH to it, you can you, you can even run a web server or a you know torrent client on, on this thing if you wanted to. The software is written in Python which is uh, what I consider to be a, a pretty easy to program in language. It's interpreted, so you don't need to learn a special tool chain or compilers, complicated make files. It's, you know, it's very easy to program with your typical text editor. You can even develop uh, right on the board. The key switches I chose are Cherry MX Blue key switches. These are uh, often used by gamers because they like the sort of clicky feel to it. Uh, they're high quality key switch. They're um, just two pins to solder on each one. You just take the key switch, push it into the circuit board. It's kind of held in place by friction and you've got two pins on the back side to solder. The uh, key caps themselves are uh, are removable, so if you didn't like my keycaps, you can put your own keycaps on, reprogram the uh, microcontroller to do something different. They just push on, and there's a uh, special tool that assists in getting them off, but usually you just pull them off with your hand. Uh, the tubes I have used 
our uh, IN12 Nixie tubes. The nice thing about the IN12 is it's both a very cheap tube and it is uh, it, it has pins so it's removable. It's not the soldering kind that you're kind of stuck with permanently and if one goes bad you have to desolder it. It's nice that you can just uh, plug it in and remove it, swap it if you need a different tube. So I've designed everything on this kit to be through hole so it's easy for people to build uh, without requiring any specialty tools other than a good soldering iron. The socket pins you, uh, you can just lightly press them right into the board and flip the board over and solder the pins. Then you've got this nice board mounted socket. We've got uh, K155D driver chips. Uh, this is actually an older version of the driver than the one I'm running in the clock. This has uh, shift registers, whereas the driver will have an I2C driver chip. All of the chips will be socketed, so you can replace a chip if uh, something happens to it. So I'm planning on making the kit available in several different varieties. The first would just be a circuit board kit. The, the circuit board kit would get you a pair of keyboard boards of the big size, a uh, keypad board for the small size, it would get you two PC boards for uh, Nixie tube drivers, and it would get you the PC board for the high voltage power supply. You'd supply the Raspberry Pi and all the components yourself. The next level up is going to probably be a, a full kit which will include all of the PC boards, all of the key switches, the key caps, the tubes, the pins, the driver chips, the wire to make the wiring harness, everything except the Raspberry Pi. The thought there is that you maybe got your own Raspberry Pi and uh, you could use that. Then one version of the kit will include the case. The case is uh, laser cut plastic. It goes together with uh, some slotted grooves with uh, 440 hardware. This case is actually a uh, prototype so it's a little bit incomplete. The real case is going to have a back panel so you can't get your fingers in there to the electrical connections and a bottom panel so you can't get your fingers into the bottom. And then finally I'm going to be offering this as assembled which means that I would solder it together for you. To conclude, I hope you've enjoyed this presentation on the Nixie Tube Calculator Kit. I'm proud of how it's turned out. It turned out much better than I had ever anticipated. You know, it's, it's very usable. It looks very good. It's got both the modern and the retro vibe going with it. I hope you will uh, consider sponsoring the project, maybe ordering yourself a kit, or uh, you know, suggesting some interesting hacks or modifications or new ideas.